fall ones are all taken. <laughs> I know. Hello, this is not a spring take the bikini sock. <laughs> you know, part of it is, is okay, we're here in LA in the Hollywood, and remember, we've been talking about guys, and it seems like most of the guys, I don't know if this is a Hollywood thing, because the guys tend to be shorter um, than I would expect, and you go, what? You know, see, because part of it is, I went to an event, and I was looking at this guy, and he looked kind of familiar, right? And I'm like, that looks like, no, that couldn't be. Yes, okay, you know, and you go back and forth. Found out it was Chase Crawford, except Chase was like, um, like proportionately smaller than I expected him to be, okay? So you can go ahead and look this up yourself on IMDb. But you know what? I found a couple guys that are kind of sweet, too, um, and they happen to be taller because... You know, I like to wear heels, and I just have a preference for um, guys that are a bit taller. <laughs> but these guys, you know, and, and I don't know what it is. It's like the, this, this season with, like, the, uh, the superheroes, right? They're all foreign, and I always happen to be a sucker for accents. Maybe that's why I went to school overseas. But there's a couple of them that's done head and shoulders above, and one is David De La Tour, who was a Power Ranger. Um, He's awfully kind of sweet, as well as Sam Claflin from, you know him, as a missionary on Pirates of the Caribbean, the new movie with Johnny Depp. Oh, I also did hear that Johnny Depp was available, and I thought he was taken. Yeah. Remember, he's also going to be Prince Charming. Oh, that's right. He's going to be Prince Charming in, um, what is it, Snow White and the Huntsman. Yeah. Yeah, Sam is. And he's, of course, for Burberry's latest campaign. Actually, this debate started clean back uh, at the Academy Awards. We went to the James Franco after party, mm -hmm. and I'm 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 I'm, I'm blonde haired and and you know and, and taller and and I look fairly decent in a tuxedo, but every female in the place is dropping. I've got I mean I'm, okay I'm sitting at a sitting at a table with nothing but women around me and a Frenchman comes by and wants to know the secret I have for getting the girls. And here's part of it is is well let's just say he's a few years older than most of them. But um, I, I'm blonde haired. But I'm you're taller. blonde haired and you're taller than most of all the other guys in the room, and you're not that tall. No, but I'm. You know, but you're taller than. I'm them. taller than they are. But then we, the next thing, we go to a, a fashion LA event. What was it? With Mikey Kaufman. Mikey Kaufman. Yeah, yes. which was one of the really great producers in the industry, and I'm in there, and once again, I got girls coming up and handing me business cards, and why? If you looked around the room. I'm the only blonde-haired person in the room, and I'm taller than all the other males, all the other males. And so we've been in a discussion since February about the fact, I also pointed out the fact, my family has been in the business since 1910, and my father it was a standard size in the business. My father was 5'6", he claimed 5'7", and most of the people were around his size. Well, I know, and that's kind of the strange part is that while the women, there may be a lot of blonde women in Hollywood, mm -mm. there's not very many blonde men in Hollywood. No. They would actually dime, they, they would put powder or stuff in my hair to make my hair darker when I'd work unless I was playing Germans and then mm -hmm. my hair could be blonde or, or, or strawberry blonde, but no. So I mean like we, we pointed out, um, I mean like I've seen the Lafour guy quite uh, actually uh, De, De La Tour? Latour because I've actually watched the uh, I watched the things over on the Disney Channel. Power and stuff. Rangers. Yeah, I watched okay, that. Okay, now he's grown up more. He's well he's grown up more, but I also saw the but legend. He's on our new series for Fox. Yeah, but I saw the legend of the seeker too, where he was very athletic uh -huh. again and now we find out he's a musician also. And this guy is a he's a producer, writer, musician. A decent singer, a power ranger, so he's, and, and because he's tall, he actually, the new crop of male actors are getting taller. The younger ones are getting taller. That would be nice. Yeah. Because they all tend to be, well, let's, let's just say, when I'm wearing heels, I still like the guy to be many inches taller than I am. Yeah. And, you know, and the, girl, <clears throat> and the girls, the females are all getting taller. Yeah. That's the problem. It's like the women in Hollywood are growing taller. Well, the, the, the main stars are shorter. Mm -hmm. So, but we just, you know, we've been talking about Califan and Latour, and we're going to be talking about probably other young leading men in Hollywood as they come up, is, you know, because, I mean, uh, you know, what, you know, 
she, you know, not a spring shake would like the opportunity to, and, and the, you know, Mrs. Bikinis are here, but not a spring shake would like the opportunity to do interviews with these people, mm -hmm. and we can that where she can discuss about the fact that some people are head and shoulders above other people in the business, and could that be part? Of, I mean, it's it's also, um, you know, you have to have a modicum of talent. I mean, I can remember, I can go back to an actress who was a weather girl who became a star on Broadway and been in movies and stuff. And basically, she was known for the fact that she looked good with wearing very little. Mm -hmm. And she'd always tell the young people and when she'd lecture to them uh, is that, that your figure gets you there, but your talent keeps you there. Mm -hmm. And so these guys obviously have something going for them besides being above everybody else in height. But it'd be, you know, she actually wants to have a discussion with the men like this about the fact that they seem to be that much bigger than the other people. Mm -hmm. The villains are always taller. Yeah, the villains yeah. always are. And you know who else stands out um, in that same arena is Army Hammer. Army Hammer, because tall, Ar good yeah. looking. They got to be tall, good looking, and athletic. Mm -hmm. And it seems to be that seems to be the key is tall, good looking. And they'll say, well, you know. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's why all those new superheroes that are coming out are European. Yeah. Or, or generally European, for, or actually Canadian. Uh, European, Canadian, Australian, Australian, right? Yeah. Because you know they, they were saying that this, the new superheroes are not American. Maybe it's yeah. because American actors are all short. I thought uh, also talking about the guy that what was it? You've met the guy that played the Terminator. You know that. You know, oh, and, and, Roland Kickinger. Yeah, Roland Kickinger. Yeah. I, I read a thing the other day that he. I think he said, you know, it's my time. You know, Roland is great. Um, I was. Did we interview? Yeah, I think you talked. Well, I've I've talked I've talked yeah. to Roland and yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I think but it had to do with something with the fact that I'm I'm big, I'm athletic, and I'm not American. That's right, and Roland's Roland's a big guy. It's like if you hear Roland, I thought I was listening to Arnold yeah. Schwarzenegger, um, and he's he actually is from the same community in Austria that um, Arnold is from. Yeah. And um, you know, tall, good looking. I mean, and he's and he's bigger than Arnold is. I think. How tall is Arnold? I think Arnold like is a little taller than I am. Yeah, but I think like Roland's like six four. Yeah, but Arnold's just a little taller yeah. than I am. So, but um, but you think well, Shayla Booth is tall. No, Shayla Booth is is Shayla a, Booth isn't that tall. He's a shawl. He's a small. He's a short person, folks. Actually, no. you just saw him the other day when we yeah. were out. Yeah, yeah. I saw him over. At, I, I can't tell you. He was out. I think he was out looking for television sets, and he's very short, folks. Yeah, yeah. he's much shorter than I am. See, uh, here's one of the things I'll tell you is, everything that's on IMDb is not necessarily true. <laughs> it's not. Everybody enhances. <laughs> they enhance their height. I mean, um, you know, they enhance. Well, here, here's two things that are, are typically I would not believe. Height and age. Age, yeah. Like, well, I have to, we know that I have to change my age. And, and you'd be so. going, well, why would those, why would they be different? Because, you know, and generally men, they always want to be taller, right? And women always, I don't know if women always want to be taller. Yeah. But the heights Women mean? like to be taller and more voluptuous. They always will somewhere in the thing. And she's listed as a 34, 24, 34 in Celebrity Sleuth magazine. So, yeah. Well, okay, let me put it this way. I know what a 34, 24, 34 looks like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. I know. And I, it's like at one point, maybe they might have been. Oh. Yeah, well, let's put it this way. It's not a, it, it's, it's, it's not a spring chick large. <laughs> the beginnings are large. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but no. It's, but you it, know what? See, a 34, 24 is not that much different than what I am right now. Yeah, but uh, the women will list themselves as lighter than what they are. Mm -hmm. And always, okay, here's the trick. I mean, okay, I, I found out what happened in my career. My parents, my, my parents listed me as older than what I was so I could work. And um, I, they actually, no, they listed me younger than what I was because they wanted young, they wanted young. And then all of a sudden, I found, I started back checking, you know, for my birthday. How about this? Is, I'm in my eighth decade now. And I, I back checked. You found out he was older than I'm older. <laughs> I'm four years older than what I supposed to be. Well, I've never seen my birth certificate, so... And, and if some of you are thinking, well, why would they give them incorrect IMDb page, IMDb age? Um, because sometimes, depending on the age, 
like I know I'd spoken with a friend who said that um, like if you're going to be an alcohol ad, yeah. they like them to be older, yeah. right? And so they would all light up. And then they always like generally to lie down. Because see, here's part of it. If they're casting for a male, let's say for 25 to 34, okay, yeah. right? That doesn't, the, the males don't necessarily, aren't necessarily that age, but they want to be able to look that age for the casting. Yeah. But mm -hmm. what happened was, is I was always too tall for the age that I was supposed to be. <laughs> now I knew that I found that out. So what happens is when you become the oldest member of your family, when you're younger, your parents just do the thing on the birth certificate stuff. They just swear, well, yeah, he was born at this time. So I'm, the birth date is right. It's the year is wrong by almost five years. Yeah. See, I was pushing me kind of moving into another decade. So I, I missed the other decade very, very. You know, well, you figure it this way. My father, if he was alive, would have been a, a hundred and one years old. Mm -hmm. So, and I figured out well, there was only X amount of days between my all years between my age and his age. Well, nothing added up. But I, it's called you basically if you're in the entertainment business, you really don't pay attention to your age. You know, if you're not working, it's totally irrelevant. Well, and yeah. part, part of it is because you went to Fairfax High and Beverly High, you you would swear, um, based on the people that went to high school with you, that there are a number of people that are not the age that people believe them to be. Oh, God. I mean, uh, part of my problem is that some of the people I went to high school, I looked at them, God, they look like they're, they're uh, you know, 80 years old. Hey, guess what, folks? <laughs> I just, I would, I, okay, let's put it with something. The, the 50s, I, I, I tended to have lost the 50s somehow, so. <laughs> Which was, yeah, that's a, that's, I mean, most people lose, you know, they say that, you know, this is a lost decade. Well, I dropped a decade, which I was, okay, you figured though, if go if, 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 I was having a good time, I didn't care. And then when I, you know, when I basically shifted into another part of the industry, Nobody bothered to ask you how old you are because you've been there for you've like been there for so long. you've been there for forty years to begin with, so you really don't care. So what's the big deal? But you know, but I've recently had to get a certificate of birth to get a passport to go out of the country, and my certificate of birth has me even born in a place I didn't know I would, I didn't even know I'd ever visited in. So, oh, but, see but no, it's just um, um, a lot of the things I ever did. I'm always the next to the tallest guy in everything that I do. And I only got to be blonde when I was playing tall, bad Germans. Mm -hmm. But I was a tall Indian, the tall, bad cowboy, the tall, you know, never was I blonde haired. I mean, I have never been blonde haired in my life on camera in an acting role unless I was playing a German. Uh -huh. Then I got to be that. And you know, but, uh, but she, you know, like I said, um, she really does. She would really like to interview Mr. Califan and Mr. Latour and start talking about the um, and David De Latour. about <laughs> talking about the the men in the industry That's and true. the changing nature of the you know that the, it seems like all the foreign actors are taller than the American actors. Yeah, all of them are. Because Roland's he's he's Austrian, yeah. right? Chris Hemsworth is what Australian? Yeah. Um, and Califan is Califan English. Is British, yeah, English. Yeah, and uh, we've got a lot of Dinator them. Dinator is uh, 